The focus of our racing tip in this issue is the role of a tactician, a job I've enjoyed for years. Every boat needs a tactician, whether you're on a two-person dinghy or on a larger boat like Prima. The tactician does several things. First of all, you're the motivator of the crew, and you set the strategy. You've also got to be flexible, so if things aren't going well, you can change your game plan in the heat of battle. A lot of people think that one of the mysteries in sailing is reading the wind. And the problem is you simply can't see air. But what you can see is what the wind is doing to other objects. One of the best things you can do is to look at other boats. In our last issue, we studied some of the techniques on reading the wind by looking at objects like your masthead fly, other boats, and most importantly, those dark patches on the water, you can forecast what the wind's going to do. When I'm reading the wind, one of the things I do is I study one section of the horizon at a time so I can see what patterns are developing. Welcome to Newport, Rhode Island for this fast forward formula. And we're going to be sailing this J-22 courtesy of Sail Newport here at this beautiful community access sailing center. I just got done racing in the J-22 World Championships and I learned several really interesting techniques on how to tune this boat, both at the dock and then when you go out sailing, to get the boat going fast and doing all of this in just five to ten minutes time. One of the greatest thrills you can have in sailing is getting a good start. It really gives your whole crew a morale boost. One of the important things is to keep your crew sitting low on deck so you have good visibility. Plus, from the moment you leave the dock, take the attitude you're racing so everybody's in the right frame of mind. The skippers you just watched during the Spania Cup are some of the best professional sailors in the world. But the racing was fleet racing, like you might find at a local yacht club, while the next America's Cup, like all America's Cup, is match racing, one boat against the other, where tactics and strategy are just as important as boat speed. To give you an appreciation of the tactics being used in the America's Cup, Peter Eisler and I are going to go out sailing in these lasers and show you the basics. Welcome to Annapolis, Maryland on a really blustery day aboard the hot Beneteau one-tonner airmail. Instruments provide great references for sailors, and in this issue of Fast Forward Formulas, we're going to take a look at instruments from the basics all the way up to computer-integrated systems. Today we're going to take a look at the role of a tactician on a point-to-point -point race. We're going aboard Mary Thought on a 60-mile race from Miami to Palm Beach. Today's race is really a tune-up for the upcoming winter season. It's a chance for new crew members to get to know Mary Thought, getting a feel for her performance, and they can work on their moves and timing, perfecting their technique as a team. We're not going to have too much time to practice anything, but it's that kind of race where we're just going to go. Up, let's go with the two. 